So guys, while everybody get ready, let's talk about our next technique. We're gonna focus on, on our curriculum. It says a uh, full mount slash neon belly. Uh, GB1, we focus more on defending, be on the bottom. This time we're gonna focus on top. And as we don't work this position or transition too much, let's focus on neon belly. We're gonna start from side control. Is a perfect position where you can start setting up your attacks and control from you know going into the neon belly position let's work a very good submission it's a submission that i barely probably I've never seen you guys try is the baseball bat choke okay so let's uh, try this technique so let's start first in a side control once you're into this situation we eventually start the actual from standing so we work that take down we gain two points where i'm on the side or we pass the guy three points conquer and we're having this position. So let's set out the control. Chest to chest, wide base, normal control, around one arm around the neck, one around the, the armpit, I'm gonna start like this. So what I wanna focus first is on the first hand. The first hand control will determine if the choke is gonna be good or not. So as soon as you guys are ready, as you can see, I'm not starting to squeeze the control and put the pressure because, or, or use the strength, because I don't need that. You guys are in a good uh, top, position good one so i'm gonna just use my left hand thumb inside the collar i want to make fist and grab the material i want to basically have my thumb in the middle of the neck of my partner i don't want to be totally out or too much in i want to have my fist on the mat right here so basically i want to just have my thumb in the middle of my partner's neck now how to go in a neon belly situation uh, in the past, we have been work the most common way. Once you guys are sliding, control the side of the bed and keep your elbow nice and tight to don't allow the person on the bottom to bring it to the chest. Because if you guys are just you know, using the, the side and you know, try to just bring the knee on the, towards the chest, you guys are gonna get stopped, you're gonna retain the guide, you're gonna chase the position all over and over. So uh, in the past, we have been work how we could just maintain the elbow closed. So that's bringing it to your chest now. I could battle his legs with my elbow. Only good way that I like, maybe I like the most, is work the transition from this side with my right arm. I'm gonna just move my elbow open, I'm gonna slide and control hand on the mat. So now, once I have the hand on the mat, I'm gonna use my shoulder instead of my arm. So try to bring your knee to your chest, for example. My shoulder is gonna battle his leg. Keep your hand open. I wanna just make it like a, you know, climbing a step. I wanna make right knee first, and then left knee off the ground. So, one, two, very simple. Now, I'm gonna maintain my fist on the mat, and now this hand is free. Very important detail on this position. I wanna maintain, you know, it's called knee on belly. So I'm gonna maintain my knee across the of my partner, and at the beginning, just being aligned with the belt of your partner. Really low, I wanna crunch towards my knee first. In class, it's just fun to keep your toes on the mat. You will see that even in training, uh, to give your partner, to obtain a reaction, you wanna switch the weight and the position of your foot. But at the beginning, toes are on the ground. Opposite side, I wanna post my knee off the ground. Just to have a better balance, and you know, depends on how the person on the body is reacting, I can easily follow him. If you guys are sitting with me on the, on the mat, if your partner's got you know, like a hip escape, you're gonna try to chase him, and crawling is not a good option. So I'm gonna stay just here, so now I, I can move my, my weight back and forward and have more reaction. Foot flat on the mat, knee pointing up, pointing the ceiling. Don't be like a foot closer to him because he can start to grab and mess up your position. Don't be on your toes, don't be too much extent, just like this. Now, what I want is to focus on making the second grip. If you guys stay here, don't change your weight, don't change your base, your partner, keep your hands closer to your chest. Obviously, it's gonna be hard for me to attack arms because the arms are bent. So I want to give him a, you know, really a reasonable option to him to focus not on the neck, but on the, my weight. So now what I want to do, I always like, instead of going battle the collars, to go on the outside, on the pants. A good way for him to defend is a bridge and hip escape, right? Is strong bridge and hip escape whenever both feet on the mat. But look, I start to lift his foot off the ground and I start to pull towards me. So basically, I, I wanna close in like a book. I wanna really put pressure on my partner's belly. Uh, he's gonna focus then his hands from the neck to try to remove my knee. That's a common uh, reaction. 
So once I'm here, I can move my toes off the ground. I'm gonna push, so I'm gonna try to push my knee there. Yeah, that's gonna open up this space. So once you guys are here, palm up, four fingers inside, I'll go all the way inside, like a baseball bat control. Now, as you can see, my hands are touching each other. I don't want to have separation. This is why I said at the beginning, keep your left hand, thumb in the middle of the neck. So now, if you can see, I don't leave space, it's like having a bad, a, a bad, right? So from here, I cannot do two things at once. I cannot work the choke and keep the pressure in your belly. So now that he's you know, recovered from the pressure on the belly and he feels that the neck is in danger, what is his reaction? Try to pull my arms away. So yeah, common reaction. This is what I want. The goal for me is to try to put the pressure, but obviously I cannot if his hands are on the way. Solution, I start to slide my right knee from the belly to in between his arms. So I'm gonna use my hands on the mat when I start to slide. Right here, I kill his arm. So now there is not defense on the side when I attack. When I start to bend my arm, and now I, I'm gonna remove some pressure because if not the tap is gonna be soon. But what you guys want to do is close your right elbow. My left arm stays straight all the time. At this point, all my weight is on him. Remember, a good position would be having both hands touching the mat, okay, your, your fist. But now there is a switch. I wanna, I start towards the left, the right side of my partner. I wanna end up in north-south position, placing my forehead on the right side of the hip. Because he can chase me, try to turn on the right side. So look, all the way here, I'm gonna step, and I'm gonna place my forehead on the mat. And I always like to be with my knees off the ground. I'm gonna add a lot of weight on him. Once you guys are here, all your weight of the shoulders on the belly, so he cannot crunch, he cannot sleep, he cannot do anything. And he cannot fall in because of my forehead. So now I just a cross choke and I start to pull to my chest. The choke is right there. And again, if, you, if, you, if I will not adjust because I was speaking, I was talking, the partner was stepping in the same time as you, as you were going in the transition of the uh, uh, north-south. Okay, so let's do one more time. Let's move in this way. So, the first part, control. Again, the first hand control is the most important. Let's do it a bit more back this way. So, here, I wanna have my thumb inside and deep. So basically, my side of the wrist needs to touch my partner's side neck, fist on the mat. So now, his shoulder are like really attached to the ground. My hand goes, lifting my elbow up, I'm gonna go palm facing up, right here. So right knee goes first, left knee move off the ground later. My right hand, flat on the mat, open up. One, two. And here, if you guys are trying to go straight, if you have two hands, you can control your hand. So you guys are gonna get lost, you don't know what to do. Eventually, you might wanna focus on the arms instead of the neck. But once you guys are here, I'm crunching, so I'm not being too much heavy, because the goal initially is the submission, right? Or going a full mount. To don't want him to make his set up for escape, Bang, on the outside, there is always three pieces of material you can grab. I'm gonna grab it, the goal is to remove one foot of the ground. So I'm gonna start to pull, and I'm gonna pull to wrap, add all my weight on my partner's belly. So if you guys on the bottom, hold it, okay? It's gonna be just 10 seconds, you're gonna you know, squeeze your ass. I'm gonna pull to wrap and pull, foot off the ground. Now the attraction for him will be on the legs. You wanna remove the pressure. All this space is free. Solution, palm up, four fingers in, take your time and go deep. Is all my shoulder go deep, okay? So, is all my shoulder go inside and fist on the mat. Now, he feels the, the risk, the danger, and gonna move both hands, try to pull my arms. And if you guys stay here, he might gonna win the battle because you're gonna pull down, you guys are gonna get lost. So remember, fist on the mat, no space in between your hands. It's like a back, back, back uh, control here in the back, right? So what I want to do now, I want to slide my knee in between his legs, I'm gonna close my right elbow. My left arm stays straight all the time. Don't bend your left arm, you're gonna lose the control, the pressure on the neck. So I'm straight, I want to start to slide and close. See? Now, uh, fists are on the mat all the time. Remember, I'm gonna switch sides. Look up, big step. And all the way on the neck, you start the action on on his side on the right you're gonna end up with the forehead on the same side you start if you guys start moving the head on the opposite side 
he can chase you. Eventually, you're gonna be able to recover the half guard. It will get stuck again. So the goal is north south. You switch chest to chest, shoulder align with the back, so you cannot even bring like a make a roll back towards you and for head on the side of the hip. That's the key. Okay. Any questions? Let's try. One, two, three. <laughs>